Hello, my name is uh, Matty Steele. I'm the Associate Pastor from Stockton Baptist Church and I'm coming to you this morning from our home on a street in central Stockton on Tees. We live in a, a six bedroom, big old Victorian townhouse. So it's uh, lovely and cool in the summer, absolutely freezing in the winter. And at the moment we have uh, four believers living in this house together. Uh, there's me and my wife Jess and then there's two other, others as well. We actually have space for two more so if you're interested in uh, Town Centre Mission give me a shout please. Now as grand and as nice as it sounds to live in a six bedroom house in the centre of town let me explain a little bit about uh, why we're here um, and, and where we are. The, the house that we're living in used to be a, a nine bedroomed uh, bed sit and in fact out on the this street most of the the houses are converted into seven eight nine bedroom bedsits or um, larger hostels and for um, a number of years now this street has had quite a, a reputation that they are high levels of crime high levels of drug and alcohol uh, addiction there's lots and lots of challenges on this street. One of our friends who works for um, a local charity in the centre of town, she was speaking with, with someone um, and they said that they at one point had actually chosen to be homeless rather than be placed in one of the bedsits, one of the hostels or on this street. So that just gives you a, a little bit of an idea of, of where we are. And you know, in, in the eyes of the world, and we hear it from time to time when we speak with different people about you know what we're doing and, and where we're living this street is a, is a total write-off a desperate and hopeless place but but we know as believers fine well without a doubt that jesus has other thoughts about this place that jesus has other thoughts and feelings for the people of this place we know that jesus heart for every soul on this street is absolutely full of love we know that jesus is powerful and able to set people free from any addiction. We know that Jesus is is the God of all hope. We know that, that Jesus has plans and purposes for every person on this street. We, we know that Jesus doesn't look at this street or the people of this street and see them as a problem, but rather as a solution to some of the problems that, that we have in, in society. And we know that Jesus has commissioned his church, us, as believers to go and minister that love that freedom that life to the people of this street and to other streets and estates like it across the northeast um, we passionately believe that that believers moving into places like this is crucial for the mission because we, we believe that we see um, a proximity and a closeness as being crucial to the mission in the New Testament. But one of the key verses that, that we often come back to is in, in 1 Thessalonians 1, and it's where Paul and Silas and, and Timothy, uh, right into the Thessalonian church, kind of reflect back on their experience there. And they said that because we love you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. You know, Paul and Silas and Timothy didn't just drop into Thessalonica and then preach the gospel and disappear again. No, they they lived with a closeness and a proximity to the people that, that they were trying to, to reach in that. And so that's that's the model that, that we're trying to follow here as a group group of believers living on this street. And, you know, indeed, like we we see that's the model of Jesus, isn't it? He didn't just write the gospel up in with lights in the sky from heaven. No, he, he came from heaven to earth and, and lived among us. So for. For us, we moved into this house onto this street in, in January and it hasn't exactly been the first seven or eight months that, that we'd expected or that we'd hoped for, that we'd pray for. But um, we, we spent the first two or three months trying to establish a rhythm of life as a group of believers. So I think at that point there, there were five, um, five of us. One of the, one of the guys has, has moved uh, up to Sunderland now. Um, but initially, those first two or three months, we were looking to establish a rhythm of prayer, of worship, of, of eating together. And then just as we kind of felt settled as, as a house, as a community with that, and we were ready to get out onto the street, lockdown hit. <laughs> and man, that was so frustrating at first. But 
Jesus being so good, he, he doesn't waste anything, does he? And Jesus has really been teaching us as a house, as a community of believers, um, about the importance of, of prayer for uh, our, our, ourselves as a community of believers, but also the importance of prayer for mission. And so one, one of the key verses that we've kept on coming back to a lot recently is John 15, 5, abide in me and you will bear much fruit. And so Jesus has been teaching us what it means for us as a community of believers to abide in him, to establish rhythms of prayer, of fasting, of taking communion, of worship, of eating together.